aren't the timekeepers wonderful? Their all-knowing bounty of knowledge keeps me warm at night in their all-seeing embrace. The timeline they weave is sacred and should never waver, or else all of reality will collapse. I'm happy they created me from nothing and allowed me to serve the Time Variance Authority as one of their top agents until order reigns and time itself can peacefully end. For they are right and they are true. So it pains me to see unhinged conspiracy theories pop up seemingly every day now about the TVA agents being variants, timekeepers being fake, or someone named Kang the Conqueror being behind all of it. It's so silly, it's hard to even talk about it. But in an effort to combat misinformation, I'm going to debunk the biggest lies about the timekeepers that have to stop. The biggest whopper of them all is that Kang the Conqueror either controls the Timekeepers or killed them long ago and is acting in their place. Both are patently ridiculous. The Timekeepers are all powerful, not some powerful. So how could they be conquered? Idiot. Who is this Kang the Conqueror? According to Marvel Comics, his real name is Nathaniel Richards, and he's a time-traveling villain who tries to conquer the multiverse. So already it would be way too on the nose. Apparently, Richards is from a perfect timeline where technology on Earth progresses unfettered by war or conflict to the point where he's able to perfect time travel. Travel. And he's so bored on his perfect planet that he decides to travel through time and conquer other worlds and eras as Kang the Conqueror, and he's very successful. The Timekeepers even help turn Richards into Immortus, a future version of Kang the Conqueror. But already there's a huge hole in this theory. In the comics where this happens, the Timekeepers are created at the end of time by the TVA. In the real world, you know, reality, the Timekeepers created the TVA. So there, impossible. The next falsehood used to justify this attack on the TVA's stellar record for peace and harmony is that Judge Ravona Renslayer, long live her name, is the same Ravona Renslayer as Ravona Renslayer from the comics. How do you plead? Come on, this is such a stretch it's not even funny. In the comics, this Ravona Renslayer is a princess on 40th century Earth. Kang conquers her kingdom but falls in love with her, and when she doesn't return his affection, he summons the Avengers to this future to win her over. And he does! just as she's killed by one of Kang's generals. So Kang travels through time to correct this fate, and in so doing, creates many, many variants of himself. I get it, those evil Kang sayers can be very convincing. Yes, she's the one who dictates the timeline from the dictates of the timekeepers. And what do you do? Dictate the proper flow of time according to their dictations. And yes, she's the only one who communicates with them in any way. And how are they all? Timekeepers. And yes, it's possible that she's actually getting the dictates from Kang the Conqueror, her love interest in the comics, but two people can have the same name. I mean, I have a friend named Steve Rogers, but he's not Captain America. Directly related to this awful, awful conspiracy theory is the idea that the TVA is actually Chronopolis from the comics. Come on, now we're getting truly ridiculous. In the comics, Chronopolis is a city that exists inside Limbo, a place outside time and space. Kang has his base there, and there he has access to all of the timelines he created. I don't know about you, but I've never even heard of Limbo. And Chronopolis? Time City? Am I the only one who thinks that sounds suspiciously on the nose? We know from Miss Minutes that the TVA is, in fact, outside time and space, yes, but Kang didn't create us. The Timekeepers did. The comics clearly got their ideas for Chronopolis from the TVA, and not the other way around. Look Miss Minutes in the face and tell me she's lying. Try it. You can't. If you thought the last lies were out there, now we're getting into the stratosphere of misinformation. The claim is, if we're living in the sacred timeline, how could it allow Iron Man and Black Widow to die? Wouldn't the sacred timeline ensure that the Avengers all live to ripe old ages? Okay, yes, Kang the Conqueror hates the Avengers in the comics, and yes, he would want them to die, and yes, a way he would do it would be to nudge the timeline in the direction of their death. But the sacred timeline has no morals and does not judge. It doesn't choose who lives or dies, it just reveals the true path. And if Kang wanted the Avengers dead, wouldn't he put a timeline in a state where all of them die? It just makes basic logical sense, something these conspiracy theorists know nothing about. The last big treasure trove of misinformation is about Marvel's plans for future Marvel movies. Yes, they're right at the beginning of Phase 4, a huge new story arc, and yes, three of the Marvel movies coming out in the next few years all have to do with the multiverse, with Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. And yes, Jonathan Majors has been cast as Kang the Conqueror in Ant-Man and the Wasp, so it would make perfect sense that he would appear in Loki, the series that is literally kicking off Phase 4. But before you go too far off the deep end, we have IMDB here at the TVA too, and nowhere on the Loki page do I see any mention of Jonathan Majors or Kang the Conqueror. So D, meet bumped. And all of these facts are patently ridiculous anyway, because for any of this to be true, my whole life would have to be a lie. And I know that recruits are not variants from branch timelines that no longer exist, brainwashed by the timekeepers to make sure their sacred timeline remains intact. Because first of all, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I remember the beginning of my life as a fully grown adult, and it was not on Earth. In fact, I don't know anything about Earth, so how could I have lived there, idiot? Sure, I hear things about people disappearing without a trace on Earth. We got women and kids 
and that weather ain't playing. And yes, there are scores of people who simply disappear when we fix branch timelines. But anytime I fill out Form 206-A to inquire about the true nature of the timekeepers, I get the same letter back reminding me that the timekeepers are good and true and would never do anything to hurt anyone. Stupid. In summary, Kang the Conqueror is definitely not controlling the all-knowing and all-powerful timekeepers. That's ridiculous. Even though his love interest from the original Marvel comic has the same name as the only person who communicates with him, in a city that looks a lot like Chronopolis, which in the comics, Kang uses as his base. Because that would be stupid.